Testing, testing. What is up, fam? I just messed around with this uh, camera because I guess the microphone jack is about to get screwed up. Whatever. As you can see, I'm wearing a hat right now. You guys normally don't see me with a hat. Mainly because, guess what? Quarantine in Utah, everything is pretty much shut down except grocery stores and some carryout restaurants. So the barbershops are also closed. Sick. I know. What a great time to be alive. I'm going to head over to the grocery store right now to grab some groceries for the rest of the week. And uh, there's also a life update, I guess. As you probably could hear right now, there's a big freaking echo in this house and the downstairs. And it's a little bit blue, but essentially... No one's living here anymore. For this weekend, I've basically been alone at this very, very big house. It's kind of creepy. And the reason why I've been living alone this weekend is one, my roommate that used to live downstairs right over here. He had a desk or I should say an office area right here, all empty. Hold on, let me fix the call. All right, we're back at it. So originally he had an office right here with his girlfriend and then there's the bathroom. And then that was the bedroom, but he moved out, finishing moving out yesterday, yesterday evening. So we used to have a projector just like right there blocking the windows, but now that is gone. I need to move my furniture that is right now at the gaming room that we had that no one used besides me, really. It is this whole setup right here. It's all my stuff. And of course the TV and stuff like that. I just want to move it into the living room. Someone's moving into these bedrooms and I probably have this alone space to myself probably for another week. From what I understand, the roommate that's moving in this week, she doesn't have a lot of stuff in, in her house, right? So I'm just gonna move all my stuff out here and then we could use it as, I don't know, as housemates and roommates and stuff. But either way, it's been pretty uneventful. I have my car warming up right now, so I gotta hurry up and head upstairs and drive to the grocery store. So let's get to it. All right, first item, uh, fruits. I don't know what the heck Kiku apples are, but I mean, I bought some of it, so, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing they recently changed here is that they used to just like lay the meat on the um, meat aisle thing, right? Even the seafood. They pre-packaged everything, so now the, I guess the touching of it is a little bit sanitary. I don't even know, because it seems like they have to touch it anyway, so uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the science behind it, but maybe it's more sanitary. No idea. I hit the jackpot. This may be just a normal apple pie but it's actually two dollars it's supposed to be ten but clearance man all about the clearances So I am in the garage now, back at home, and I'm um, not sure if you see this, it's a little bit of like bumps on my skin. You see that? It's kind of weird. I don't know why this happened, but it, uh, it felt itchy when I was in a grocery store. I don't know what I touched, if it's just like hand sanitizer or just like too much like freaking, I don't know, sanitizing stuff on the carts. I might die because that might be Tusty! I'm kidding. I can't say that word because otherwise it will get demonetized. We're in a very sensitive world nowadays. Sick. Now that I'm back from grocery shopping, I am going to go work out and with the quarantine going on right now, you can't exactly go to any gyms. They're, the gyms are really closed and the, unless you pay a very, very big premium price on some privately owned gyms, then uh, that's where you could like sneak into like having heavy ass weights, right? But for the most part, I've been trying to keep up in shape um, through home workouts. 
and it has not been like the best workouts, but it has consistently kept me sane and also just kept me going, you know, like I still have, I still have muscles, right? But obviously I've lost some weight and I've lost some muscle for sure. And I lost some strength on top of that, which is a little bit frustrating, but I mean, what can I do? The best I can do is do some home workout, body weight workouts, and carry on with my day until the gym's open, which will hopefully be soon um, within the next two weeks or so. Utah is not really bad with the cases, with the increasing cases, so I am hearing rumors that even restaurants are starting to open, but just with more or stricter rules of social distancing. But to get back on track, I am making some pre-workouts. I had this pre-workout for probably more than a year now, or almost a year, and it's kind of uh, old. But either way, I'm gonna go work out. I'm gonna work out in the backyard right over there. And uh, maybe you can follow along, you know, cause being an entrepreneur or a struggling and a beginning entrepreneur, I think fitness and just keeping up in shape and physically just keeping everything up is probably one of the driving. Oh my! I was not expecting that. I really was not. Toasty! Wow. Okay. Anyways, I think fitness plays a big part in my mentality. Keeping every aspect of your life as best as possible is probably the key to happiness or something, or at least one of the ways to become really happy. So enough with my soapbox. I'm gonna clean this up and bring you guys along to go work out. I got some vices, they talking on me Got a new bitch who be loving on me I told her God every day of the week Know they all watching and plotting on me Got a little buzz, I got places to be You bit us out, I'm cool running to me Alright, now that my shower is done I am about to work on some clients Cause I run a online fitness business coaching What? I run an online fitness coaching business with Armando Nava. Some of you guys may know just from my previous subscribers before I changed up my content for my YouTube channel, but I am one of the head coaches. I am the head coach of that. And on top of that, I manage a lot of the operations. Like I legitimately just run the business since he is super, super busy with real estate. I have uh, basically, I think 10 clients right now, which is fairly busy because I want to make sure that we provide the best service we can. We customize everything. And on top of that, if I see that a client is in trouble, cause we have just been coaching for like almost a year now, we recognize like sometimes there, the clients have trouble in within the first few weeks. And it, there are some like red flags essentially that tells me that I need to keep a closer eye on that specific client and make sure he or she is capable of continuing and making sure that the progress is there, obviously, because that's what they hire us for. They want to make sure that they are gaining progress because most of them are stuck with whatever program or whatever system they were following before. Now that we have a closer eye on them, I'm able to give them the results or hopefully give them the right recommendations to provide them results that they want. So in about five minutes or so, I'm about to hop on a coaching call and then just work on other clients as well. I was crazy now she'll believe don't want to fight and she don't want to weep me and my brother stay in on a week I don't do beef I can barely do moves rappers get salty when I'm dropping seeds and schooling me so the clients that I had a coaching call scheduled for we were in the middle of the call and it disconnected because he like lost cell service so I'm waiting for him to come back online and once he gets back home which has more stable cell service then we'll re continue the call but Obviously, this kind of messes up the schedule if I had something planned at, right afterwards with him, right? So, with us being kind of like a service-based business, we don't really have, our product is really our service, our continuous customer service and continuous 
just follow up with the clients. That is part of our job to do as an online coach. We cannot do anything else for them without just like following up, consistent follow up and customization of whatever their needs are and whatever their goals are and just making sure they're on track. So like it is basically a consulting service, right? We have to rely on the client to actually do the work in order for us to see results and hopefully they do their best. While I'm gonna wait for him, I'm gonna go stretch my back. I have like little minor, I guess minor, I don't know if it's minor or not, back issues. It just started when I was in college. And so I'm gonna go foam roll, stretch, take a couple of minutes and I don't know, recuperate, I guess. Hopefully we could continue with our night. A couple hours later, now it is about to be bedtime, but I still have to like eat a little bit of dinner beforehand. I usually go to bed around 7.30, but I moved with my roommate Mark, moved some of my game room stuff into the living room because Jeff moved out. But essentially, here's the setup now in the living room. Right here, bam, it's very uh, unorganized as you can see, like there's this doesn't even match with that. It kind of matches with this. Yeah, this is originally what I bought in Japan when I lived there. This was here, those two sofas. So technically they belong to me now, but I mean, I didn't buy them. But either way, yeah, this is the whole situation right now. And I have a feeling that it is too far, this distance in between the couches and the TV. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Too far or good enough? Maybe I'll just like watch something to wind down a little bit. I usually do not um, watch TV a lot. And wow, this is super bright. I usually do not watch TV a lot, mainly because I have so much things to do. I want to edit this video, but I feel like sometimes there are some days where I overwhelm myself. I feel like there's so many things to do, which I mean, reality, yes, there, there is always something that needs to be done in order to progress. But at the same time, it's a marathon, right? Like I'm expecting to live at least, hopefully up to 80 years old. So at the grand scheme of things, maybe watching TV just a little bit is good enough. I don't know. I, I'm still trying to discover that because there's so many different ways, there's so many different approaches to building a business and building yourself as uh, an entrepreneur or whoever you want to be or just your career in general your life in general I don't, I don't know I feel like there's sometimes there are like people out there who are extremely successful both financially and socially or relationshiply is that even a word that they they're successful in their own right and everybody gives different advice so I really don't know if there's a blueprint out there I I don't think there really is I think most people just need to figure themselves out as I am trying to do. So right now, I'm gonna get back with my day and make some dinner and uh, yeah, wind down a little bit. Oh, and also I have two doors in my bedroom right now. We had to take the door out. So there's enough room to like move through, move the furniture through this doorway. So now I have to put this back. I know. Adulting. Cool, sweet, sick, dude. I have decided to watch some TV as a way to wind down, even though I have to, well, I should be going to bed in like 30 or so minutes, because it's like 7 o'clock right now, and if I really want to get 8 hours of sleep, I should be in bed by 7.30, but in this case, I'm, I'm, I'm not even sleepy. I have to shower still, and I'm just cooking up my dinner, which I will show you as well, but I decided to just watch some TV just to wind down. I typically do not spend my nights watching TV. I maybe watch like one or two YouTube videos, but that's about it. In terms of my entertainment, each and every day, it's probably like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, social media in itself. So I consider that to be entertainment rather than sit down and watching TV. But in this case, I'm just gonna zone out and you know, go watch some TV and in addition to that, finish some dinner, which this is usually my typical dinner, all right? So this is chicken breast that I bake and bulk bake uh, throughout the week. So I usually bake it in an oven uh, during a Saturday or weekend, or even during the weekday if I'm running low on food, depending on how much food I have left over, 
I bulk cook my protein so I have dinner within like six, seven minutes. I usually have some steamable vegetables with my chicken breast. On the top of that, I'll probably have some sweets or something with that and that's about it. It's really simple. I utilize a lot of like microwave stuff mainly because it's just so convenient and it's very less hassle, very little cleaning and it just saves time so that allows me to do other things that I really enjoy instead of cooking. Because to me, I really, I rarely enjoy cooking for myself if I'm not cooking for other people as well. So that is my mindset behind like dinner and cooking and being a little bit more efficient with time. At the end of the day, this is it. This is my day in the life. With quarantine, it's just like my day hasn't really shifted a lot. My my mornings during the weekends and my mornings for work hasn't shifted. I still go into work every single day. I still wake up around the same time during the weekends every single day. There's really not much changes because majority of the time I'm just staying at home anyways, regardless if it's quarantined or not. I'm very, very comfortable staying at home. So I'll post the schedule right here. And my head is going like a million miles per hour because I don't know. I just need to chill out right now. But all right. Thank you guys for watching again. See you later, dude. I got some vices, they talking on me Got a new bitch who be loving on me I told her God every day of the week Know they all watching and plotting on me Got a little buzz, I got places to be